In this video, we'll be looking at the classic von Neumann architecture of a PC. Now we'll be referring to components of the CPU, which we've introduced and covered in previous videos. So if you haven't seen those, go back and watch those first. As part of this video, we'll also introduce you to the fetch decode execute cycle. Now we're gonna do this at a fairly high level as we have a much more detailed video on this that's coming up next. The earliest computing machines had fixed programs. For example, a desktop calculator is an example of a fixed program computer. It can do mathematics, but it cannot be used for any other purpose. Changing a program of a fixed program machine requires rewiring or redesigning the machine. A stored program computer is one that has changeable programs. In 1945, the mathematician and physicist John von Neumann described the first design for modern computers that had stored programs. This way of designing computers became known as the von Neumann architecture. A von Neumann architecture has key characteristics. It has a central processing unit, a CPU with a single control unit. Inside it has an arithmetic logic unit, an ALU, onboard cache, which is small amounts of high speed memory that helps the control of instructions and data around the CPU, and also an internal clock, which provides a pulse at a constant rate to synchronize components. This architecture computer fetches, decodes, and executes instructions. This isn't the most efficient design for processing, but it was indeed simple. Programs are made up of a sequence of instructions stored in the main memory outside of the CPU, they are fetched one by one to the registers for processing. Let's have a closer look at the memory. You will notice that each instruction is stored in a location in the memory and each location has an address. Therefore, the processor can fetch an instruction stored in memory address one, for example, and bring it back into the processor. Now computers are complex machines capable of fetching and executing instructions billions of times a second, using a very methodical sequence of events inside the CPU. In order to do this, they make use of special purpose registers, which we introduced in the last video. Let's take a look at each one and see what it's used for. The program counter always holds the memory address of the next instruction to be executed. Once we fetch this address from the program counter, we increment its contents by one, so it points to the next instruction to be executed. The memory address register holds the address of where data is to be fetched from or stored into. The memory data register holds any data which has been fetched from memory or is about to be written to memory. The accumulator holds the results of calculations which have been performed by the arithmetic logic unit. Let's look at a typical fetch execute cycle in a little more detail. So we start with the fetch stage. The program counter is checked as it holds the address of the next instruction to be executed. This address is used by the memory address register in order to fetch the instruction needed from main memory and bring it back into the memory data register. The address in the program counter is incremented to point to the next instruction. Now the instruction is in the CPU, the control unit decodes the instruction to see what has to be done. Now we know what to do, we can execute the instruction. What we actually do depends on what the instruction actually is. We could be asked to head back to main memory and fetch some data and add it to the accumulator. We could be asked to jump to another instruction. We could be asked to write data held in the accumulator back into RAM. So let's just recap what we've covered so far. The von Neumann architecture consists of a control unit, an arithmetic logic unit, memory unit, and inputs and outputs. 
It is based on the concept of the stored program concept. Both instructions data and program data are stored in the same memory in binary form. There is no way to know if the pure binary held in memory is representing instructions or data simply by looking at it. It has to be brought into the processor and decoded. And it contains the following registers. The program counter, holding the address of the next instruction to be executed in memory. The memory address register, holding the address of where data is to be fetched or stored. The memory data register, holding the data fetched from or to be written to memory. And the accumulator, holding the result of calculations. Thank you.